Here's the difference between material things and education. Material things will always depreciate. It will always go down in value. But when you learn something, you can use that knowledge for the rest of your life. And the value of yourself goes up. Hi, this is Shlomo Sonson, the host of the Teenage Impact Podcast. And my mission is to help you as a teenage kid to overcome any struggle in life, anxiety, depression, suicide thoughts, struggles at home, your relationships in school, whatever they may be. This podcast is the best podcast for any teenage kid to listen to, to feel inspired, to make an impact. But before I continue with this podcast, if you're tuning in from Apple Podcasts, please, 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 I'm asking you to rate and review this podcast. The more ratings and reviews I have, the higher the Teenage Impact will be ranked and the more people I can inspire. If you have any friends who are in this funk and they can't seem to get out of it, share the Teenage Impact podcast with them and watch their life change. Guess what's coming up? The holidays are coming up. That means Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving. That means Black Friday sales. That means you're going to be asking your parents. You're going to be asking your friends. You're going to be asking your family members for gifts. What are you going to ask for? A $2,000 MacBook that's on sale? Are you going to ask for $150 AirPods, $50 concert tickets, $400 PlayStation? What are you going to ask for? What if I told you instead of asking for those material things? What if I told you that instead of asking your loved ones for those gifts, what if you ask for educational seminars where you learn a specific skill that you've always wanted to be, that you've always wanted to learn, like public speaking, leadership, programming, whatever it may be, or maybe investing in a mentor that's going to get you ahead in life? Would they do it? Or would they think? that you're crazy. If I offered you a $2,000 laptop, or if I offered you a $700 seminar ticket, which one would you choose? If I offered you $150 AirPods, or if I offered you $150 program to learn a certain skill, which one would you choose? If I offered you $50 worth of nonfiction books, or if I offered you $50 of a concert ticket, which one would you choose? Most people would choose their AirPods, the concert ticket, and their laptop. Why? Because when we acquire things that we like, materials, that's instant gratification. It instantly makes us happier. If your parents were going to give you a brand new car that's worth $30,000, would it be a little bit too crazy if you told them, Mom, Dad, don't give me a $30,000 car. Instead, I want you to invest $30,000 into my education, not my college education, but seminars, programs, nonfiction books, uh, coaches that are multi-million dollars. Would you do that or would you take the $30,000 car? Now, let's switch it around. What if I told you if you took that $30,000 worth of seminars, programs, coaches, books, that you're going to be a guaranteed millionaire in the next five years? Hmm, That's a little bit different because you, you can see that gratification in your head that most likely you're going to choose that $30,000 worth of seminars and programs and coaches because you want to become a millionaire. Here's the difference between material things and education. Material things will always depreciate. It will always go down in value. But when you learn something, you can use that knowledge for the rest of your life. And the value of yourself goes up. 
Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, worth like $80 billion, he said, the best thing you can invest in is not a business, not real estate, not stocks. It's the best thing you can invest in is yourself. And that's one thing my mentor told me as soon as I graduated college. I saw a speaker about last year. He, was, he has a 20 or $30 a million dollar business. And he said he spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on seminars and programs. What most people don't do. Most people just stop after high school or college or master's degree. But they don't actually try to learn specific skills that's going to get them ahead in life. Now, what if you don't want to become an entrepreneur, which is totally fine. But if you... You're totally okay with working for someone, or you're totally okay with being in the medical profession. What, whatever career goals you have, invest in yourself will help you not only get to your career goal, get to, it'll help you get to your career goal faster, and it'll move you up versus the other people who have the same career goals. It'll help you have a better relationship with your family members and your future husband and wife, or your current boyfriend and girlfriend. It'll help you become more financially free. It'll help you become healthier. It'll help you with your mental health. It can help you in all, all areas of your life when you try to learn a specific skill. There is someone out there who's an expert in that specific field. I recently went to a Tony Robbins. For those who don't know, Tony Robbins is a self-help guru for 35 years. You know, he, he's spoken in over 100 countries, multimillionaire, and he helps you take your life to the next level. I spent seven, well, over $1,000 in going to Miami for four days, getting a hotel, transportation, everything, to really take my life to the next level. Why? Because for the longest time, I had anxiety, so I really tried to help myself uh, stay in the present. So I, I invested in that money. People thought I was crazy. Why would you spend over $1,000 to go see a guy? But it would be totally okay to see, spend $1,000 on a laptop. But the laptop would depreciate. But guess what I took out of that um, seminar? To live in the present. To really be grateful of your life. Yes, you can you know, hear that advice in a book. But when you're around 13,000 people who are looking for every bit of advice, who is trying to make themselves feel better. It's something about the atmosphere that changes your mindset and changes the way you act and think. And Tony Robbins has a way of words and convincing you to be more grateful. So guess what? In the past three weeks, I've been practicing gratitude. For right now, I'm no longer anxious. For right now. It got me out of my funk. Now, there's some people who suffer with really, really bad anxiety. Would you pay $700 to go to a seminar if you knew that your anxiety would go away? Because guess what? If you don't have anxiety, you can do better in school. You can have a better relationship. You can do better in your extracurricular activities. You can do better in your sports. You can have better grades. You can be, go to college stress-free. And that's what investing in yourself does to you. So when your parents are shopping for you on Black Friday or for the holidays and they see a sale and they want to buy you something, you know, instead of asking for something materialistic, ask to spend, for them to spend money on a specific educational program that's going to teach you a skill. Or something you're trying to overcome in life. Because I guarantee you, most of your friends and classmates are going to get material things. They're going to be happy. They're going to be like, look what I have. I have this brand new shoe or this brand new car or this brand new whatever. And that's going to depreciate. That material would depreciate. The value of them are going to stay the same. When you go to a certain seminar that's going to teach you skills for a lifetime, you that's, that skill will never go away. You can use that skill to make 10 times more money than anyone else. And the value of you does not stay the same. It increases. Now, try investing in yourself for the next 10 to 15 years. Just imagine your value compared to all your classmates' value. You, you will be all the way on top because you continue to invest in yourself 
like classes, mentors, nonfiction books, programs. While your friends always, when they had the opportunity, invested in material things. Now, don't get me wrong. I love material things. And material thing, things are great. But when you start investing in yourself, you can buy as many material things as possible because you start learning on how to make your own money. And you can't just go, uh, by the way, disclosure, you can't just go to these programs and do nothing and expect things will just totally be fine. You have to go to the seminar, try to comprehend as much as possible and implement whatever that's being taught to you in your own life. And you keep on doing this for the rest of your life and watch your life change and watch you have the life you have always dreamed of and watch everyone else be jealous of the life you're going to have. But you need to start now. The first step, you might not be able to afford $30,000. You might not be able to afford $1,000, but you can afford $20 for a book. If you can't find a way, if you can't afford $20, find a way to get $20 to buy a couple of nonfiction books and sell those books and buy more nonfiction books until you apply whatever that's being taught you to replicate that money and invest, keep on investing in yourself and your self worth will increase and your life will change. I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. If you haven't done so, if you're in this funk, I have provided you the seven quick and easy ways to feel better about yourself. These are tips and um, tips I have compiled over the past 10 years of what I've used in my own life and based off of the 25 interviews I have done for my podcast. So go ahead. The link is in the description. Download. It's free. And I hope you tune in next time. Peace.